Today, we are looking at one of the most amazing railroad main lines in Southern California, Union Pacific's SEMA subdivision through Afton Canyon. It's just after 6 a.m. at Daggett, California. Beyond the signal bridge, a giant steady lunar sinks toward the western horizon, orbiting the Earth at over 2,000 miles per hour. As it slips beyond the artificial lights of nearby Barstow, another object approaches us in the twilight, an eastbound. This is nothing unusual. Nearly 100 trains per day pass this busy junction on BNSF's Needle subdivision, but as the crossing gates activate, we know we have our first train of the day entering Union Pacific's route to Salt Lake City. CSX 5101 and 5231 lead an early morning military train to the nearby U.S. Marine Corps logistics base at Yermo. Ground combat and support equipment of all kinds are maintained and repaired at this facility, and trains like this are common here. The logistics base is the second largest employer in the Barstow area, behind nearby Fort Irwin. The third largest employer is BNSF, with its huge classification yard just west of here. Yermo comes from the Spanish word meaning wilderness. This small community at the base of the Calico Mountains was founded in 1902 and given the name Otis. It became a division point on the Union Pacific and still is today. The three miles of track between Yermo and Daggett is the eastern portion of UP's Los Angeles subdivision. Trains heading east to Las Vegas travel the SEMA sub. Yermo serves as a crew change point and staging yard for westbound coal trains out of Utah. A mixture of coal, intermodal, and mixed manifest trains make up the majority of traffic one can find on the SEMA sub. The first 6.7 miles of the subdivision operate as a double-track mainline between Yermo, milepost 162, and Toomey at 168.7. UP8370 East leads a ballast train out of the yard. Ballast train departs Yermo on a slight downhill grade. The track speed is 40 for the next few miles, but will soon increase to 70 as it heads toward Afton Canyon. Entering the west end of Afton Canyon, a block signal shows a clear for a surprise move, BNSF 7329 West. The Vancouver-Washington to Barstow Manifest is a rare reroute through Salt Lake City due to a track work window in the Tehachapi Mountains. We were told that its northbound counterpart also used this track, 
but we never came across it during our week of filming on the SEMA sub. This is a popular railfan location known as Dunn Overlook. The actual station of Dunn is to the west. It includes a 9,529 foot siding and a sand and gravel mill. UP 8351 leads a morning LA to Denver Z train through Dunn as the rails begin to pull away from Interstate 15, leading to the more remote portions of the line. The SEMA subdivision generally follows the course of the Mojave River for 40 miles between Yermo and Crucero. The relationship of river and railroad becomes the most intimate within the confines of Afton Canyon. Three truss bridges take trains over the Mojave. The first, Mojave River 2, is located just west of the Afton Spur at milepost 191.18. UP5382 leads a vehicle train east. The Caddy Mountains are broken into a series of dry washes, feeding the Mojave River at various points when the rain falls, which isn't too often in this country. The rugged features of the barren land is striking in its own way. The drumming of prime movers brings our attention back to the bridge as UP-7213 is seen one last time crossing the Mojave River with a unit train of Utah coal.
although it is less than eight miles through. Exploring Afton Canyon reminded us somewhat of Ruby Canyon on the Colorado-Utah border. The similarity is lost on the Mojave River, which, unlike the Colorado, flows mostly underground. UP 2635 West takes a short MNPWC over the third crossing just east of Afton. This is near the former location of Tunnel 1, which was daylighted in 1957. It's springtime in the Mojave Desert. In a place that gets less than 10 inches of rain per year, spring still brings a bit of color to the sparse vegetation found here. Afton Canyon is the only place where the Mojave River flows above ground all year, even if it's somewhat hard to find. It may appear as a seep or a wet spot under a bridge, but still, it is a river that must be crossed. UP 7718 heads east with another ballast train at the third crossing. Track speed slows to 40 inside the canyon, and a temporary slow order is in effect near milepost 192.5. The dramatic geological formations found in Afton Canyon have led locals to dub it the Grand Canyon of the Mojave. High up in the colorful cliffs, one can find the remnants of a magnesium mine dating back to 1894. A tramway was added to the cliffside mine at one point to carry ore across the river where it was loaded onto rail cars. The magnesium was used as a lining in open hearth steel furnaces around World War I. Gigantic mud towers lined with river rock tower above the canyon floor, beckoning visitors into their cool shadows on hot afternoons. Looking across the Mojave, a West Colton to North Platte manifest carefully passes the slow order near the former station of Cliffside.
In the heart of Afton Canyon, Cliffside offers some of the most striking scenery on the entire subdivision. As the afternoon sun dips to the southwest, it pulls shadows out of every rock and every cliff, creating a dramatic setting for trains to run through. Westbound UP 7377 approaches with train ISCLB, a Salt Lake City to Long Beach intermodal with a combination of international and domestic double stacks for the West Coast. The railroad continues to follow the course of the Mojave River east through Afton Canyon. During our springtime visit, the desert floor was alive with colors thanks to recent rains. Some of the last remaining telegraph poles wait a similar fate to those we saw earlier near Toomey. A distant red indicates a westbound has entered the next block, and soon UP 5254 brings another Salt Lake City to Long Beach intermodal through the canyon. The train disappears behind the magnificent walls of the canyon, and silence again encircles us while the shadows grow long. Turning again to the east, the canyon walls give way to a vast open country on the edge of the Mojave Sink, the lowest portion of the Sima Sub. The next siding is aptly named Basin. As evening approaches, and our world slips into the Earth's shadow, we take a break from rail fanning to enjoy the quiet dusk in the desert. The next morning reveals the fourth and final crossing of the Mojave River near milepost 196.9 west of Basin. 
A westbound KG-1CI sporting a UP arrow wedge heads toward Afton Canyon. This train originates at Union Pacific's Global One Intermodal Facility in Chicago and is bound for California's City of Industry. Later, the morning ZLADV appears out of Afton Canyon and snakes toward the fourth crossing. In the channel of the Mojave, a shot you normally can't do in most rivers, UP-6017 heads west over the fourth crossing. You've been watching a segment of our program, Union Pacific's SEMA Subdivision. Available on DVD, high definition Blu ray, and digital download with Vimeo on demand. Visit 7ideaproductions.com for more details. There is a link in the description below. Also, be sure to like and subscribe to see more content like this. From all of us at 7idea Productions, thanks for watching.